What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. But I'm gonna be. This is gonna be my first time doing something like this. This is gonna be a reaction slash review. So basically, it's like this. I'm gonna now. Yeah, and look, don't hate me on this. This is just this, this this the only time I'm doing this. So I already heard this song from this one. Where so cause as you see we got Benzino with a Volturius and it's an Eminem disc. So like I said, I probably already heard I, like I said I already heard it, right? But I wanted to rehear it again and kind of go over it and such with y'all and such. So y'all can tell me how y'all feel about it and you can hear my point of view about it because I'm not gonna lie, there were some points in there that we've heard all of we heard over the years, but some new ones that you know, but some ones that kind of really stick out. <laughs> One in particular, but hey, we gonna check it out together and such so make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video should be called Skittles, sweet ass motherfucker. candy ass Eminem, bitch ass feminine maddie like melanin so yeah the basic so basically like the basic Eminem, because he's named after candy and such so hold on i gotta make sure i'm still Recording, screen recording and such. Hopefully it's still good. Yeah, it's still good. So let's get it. But yeah, the basic candy, candy as M and M. But it's crazy that you want to call him Skittles. That's okay. <laughs> that ain't an original di diss to Eminem's name. Eminem should be called Skittles, sweet ass motherfucker. Candy ass Eminem, bitch ass feminine, Maddie like melanin, on value turned up again. Oh shit, here we go, Benzino versus Jim Crow. Noah Custy when oh. I see one, how many times you overdose? Cracker on crack. So he been, and then, it's basically like this. Literally, he's literally checking off everything that every other rapper or so has been saying about how Eminem over the years, about how He's not, he hates that he's not black or so and calling him racist or whatnot. Because the fact that you're going to say the Jim Crow, like, nigga, really, what? I'm like, bro, people going to realize that this whole shit with Eminem, be, just because Eminem is white, that means he can't be the greatest. Look, at that point, this is how I look at it. I don't care what your skin color is. If you've been, if you in a, if you have a profession and you done really well in that profession for many years, it don't matter what your skin color is, what your heritage is, don't matter how, how you look like, don't matter. If you've been good at it for X amount of years and you've been very successful and you keep on evolving more, ain't no way people gonna talk about how bad you are ain't no way people should be down bad down playing how it is and such just because of your skin color like people needs to get that shit out of here especially when it comes to Eminem and such about how just because people can't claim him that he's the greatest one of the greatest rappers of all time because of his skin color which is stupid Shit, here we go, Benzino versus Jim Crow. Noah Custy, when I see one, how many times you overdose? Cracker on crack. He's talking about his crack. Black in the show. Invade our culture, then insult this time you get exposed. Little ho. And then he's talking about how. But the thing is. Benzino, what? Isn't what? Before, like, from what? It's basically like, this is how you know most people don't even care about him. At one point, like nigga, didn't you used to be owner of a damn magazine called The Source? So how the hell should he be getting mad and calling him a culture vulture when nigga isn't isn't Benz Benzino was more of the culture vulture than what Eminem could become? Because at least it's basically like this. 
At least Eminem was just pure hip hop. Like, hold on, let me let me fix my camera for y'all real quick and switch just on camera. But Eminem was just pure hip hop. You didn't see him trying to say, "Thanks to hip hop, I can be able to do this and that." Nah, he strictly stayed into a hip hop and such. Benzino, not on in a way you made music, but then again, you was also owner of a magazine and such so you really can't and then you gonna make false you were making false claim over Eminem saying about this and such so really who's the vulture here Damn just saying you know what custody when I see one how many times you overdose yes. cracker on crack who rap I hate black in the show invade our culture then insult this time you get exposed little ho this but yet you're the one who's but the thing is even though Eminem is not black and such, right? Why is he more of black? What? In a way, it's like this, and this may be crazy. To, well, to some people who think I'm, but what I'm about to say is crazy. But the thing is, even though he's white, why is he more black than you are? Because if y'all gotta remember, Benzino's half white, or if I'm, or if he's not half white, he's half something. So I'm not trying to say there's nothing wrong with being mixed about anything. But the thing is, you can't really call yourself fully black and such, like fully, fully black to me, right? This is just my opinion, so I don't want nobody trying to bash me or whatnot for just saying something that I feel that is my opinion. But what I'm just saying is, you're mixed. So really, you can't be saying about somebody trying to come into the culture kind to come into a culture and try to steal from something when when nine times out of ten you're half of what the you're you're half that's how i look at it just say when you're half seen the michael and brit what kind of fuck go to war with people dancing and singing don't fuck with it and keep it up i ain't gonna lie though that was pretty cool I ain't gonna lie if you really when you put it like when you put it like that I ain't gonna lie, it be kind of true, like really think about it, if you look at Eminem's beef over the years and such, there were some who, there were some of the beefs he was in that were with singers, like Mariah Carey, Christina Aguilera, freaking, who else, but then again, he wasn't always just beefing with people who was just singing and dancing and whatnot. He did go over some big ones so like, shit, one of my favorite rock bands and such, Limp Bizkit at one point. I didn't even know he went at Limp Bizkit. Like at Fred Durst and such. Shit, I never knew that. And then with the typical Ja, and then he went at Ja Rule. But then again, Ja Rule did deserve it because nigga, you ain't going to freaking disrespect Haley and think he wasn't going to clap back. So yeah. And then with the MGK thing too. So, hey, you can't just say he wasn't only aiming at people who can sing and dance. Because Eminem made that diss so bad at freaking MGK that for the better part of, it's called, let's see, since it came out in 2018, for the better part of, would I say three years? Three or four years, give or take, right? Man made him literally switch genres. Do you know how bad you gotta diss somebody that you gotta let them switch genres? That's when you know your level of pen and your level of diss is so critical that you made somebody switch into a different genre. That's insane. Never have you ever heard that. Keep it a buck, you ain't tough. Your baby mom can get a bag like how Cassie did puff. If they read your that one was insane. Your baby mama could get a bag like how, f like how, Cassie. Wait, hold on. How do you say it? How does nigga say it? Your mom can get a bag like how Cassie did puff. If they reach your mama can get a bag like how Cassie did puff. Hey, cause I mean, let's face it. With the way, with the whole, with P D D and shit, with his whole situation. Hmm. It is what it is, but hey. 
It is what it is with that point. Be lyrics in the court like they did young dog from the drug okay. chopping the up corpse in the trunk. You a punk. Plan my funeral, please. You shoot who? You who? Square ain't even go circle the block for proof. And the truth, my that one was definitely out of control. That one. Now, hey. Nah. That one really has to sting. I'm not gonna lie. That one really does sting. Saying that you didn't spin. Shoot who? You gonna plan a plan funeral? Who you gonna shoot? You didn't even spend the black for proof. And you know what proof was one of Eminem's best friends. So that's a total violation right there. So you know Eminem has the response to that. Sorry if y'all hear any cars out there. But for that, that's an insane one to even say right there. I'm just, nah. Me personally, you gonna talk down upon somebody who's not even here no more? Nah, that's a violation right there. Definitely violation. Square ain't even go circle the block for proof. For proof? The truth, my daughter no, had violation. a life that I never had. I'm probably more Boston George than America's dad, but I provided. <laughs> Food, clothes, gifts kept y'all excited. Now you let the industry really lynch, keep us divided. But back when I got indicted, in and out of court fighting, you was in a pretty home with something foreign to ride in. Of course, he'll tell you hate your father. He could never find his trailer park swan. Hey. Because with the whole situation between him and his father who passed away about like four years ago or so. Look. Don't con it's basically like this. Don't concern with certain things. Even though he did send a shot at your daughter. You daughter did catch a straight nigga. At least your daughter is still alive today. Even though Eminem didn't like his father. It ain't none of your business to talk about. <laughs> so... You wouldn't like if Eminem start talking to your shit. So why would you want to talk? But well, then again, it's basically like this. Tit for tat, I guess. But shit. Of course he'll tell you hate your father. He could never find his trailer park swine bitch. Shit. You're miserable when you're lonely. And we think that they cloned you. Look where don't care how much just for men they put on you. Never seen with a girl, never seen with a bitch. Forgot a song, what if I was gay would join the Lucas? I'm done. That one definitely shocked me that you say you got a song with Joyner Lucas called What If I Was Gay? I never even know that. That's one thing I didn't even know about. That he got a song that's with Joyner Lucas called What If I Was Gay? I mean, hey. Say what you want, but... I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Oops, sorry y'all, my knee shaked for a second, but I'm not gonna lie to you. For for this, he did pretty well. Not gonna lie, but like I said, there were a couple of them that really shocked us, especially that proof one. Cause I mean, my nigga, you not finna just talk about somebody who's not even here anymore. To defend himself nah that's a straight up violation yeah once he I don't know if, if he wasn't gonna respond to it's basically like this and even though nobody gives a damn about that and such right one thing's for damn sure he, he said M Eminem said he's hip-hop well it's basically like this it wouldn't be hip-hop of Eminem if he don't respond to some lyric like that which you know damn well that was a straight up violation <laughs> you gonna talk about somebody's friend who passed away because if I'm not mistaken like I didn't M say that proof was one of his best friends because if so no I'm pretty sure it is so that ain't right that's violation right there so yeah M has to respond for something like that but either way as for the reaction, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. What I think of it, hey, I've, it's basically like this. It's better than how Melly Mel tried to win at Eminem, so that's the, that's the best compliment people can give about it.
that it was better than how Melly Mel came at him. So hey, take with what take with that what you may. It is what it is. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. I'm out.